Richard Green was born on August 25, 1918 in Plymouth, England. His father was a Navy officer, which caused the family to frequently move during Green's childhood. These frequent movements most probably contributed in shaping his one-of-a-kind adaptable nature, since he had to learn how to quickly adapt to new situations and interact with people from different backgrounds. Regardless of the constant changes, Green was a bright and outgoing child who had a passion for the performing arts from a young age. He even took part in school plays and local productions, showing a natural talent for acting. After finishing school, Green followed his dream of becoming a professional actor. He enrolled in the Royal Academy of Dramatic Arts, where the people around him recognized his unique acting talent. On completion of his studies and pass, he began working in theaters where he took various roles in productions throughout the UK. As a stage actor, Richard Green quickly created a stunning reputation as a talented and versatile performer. He featured in a variety of productions from Shakespearean plays to contemporary dramas. These skills would later on help build his career as an actor, where he would work with different directors, actors, and crew members on different productions. Green's rise to fame in Hollywood was swift since at the age of 20, where he got his first major role in the John Ford-directed movie, Four Men and a Prayer. His performance was loved by many, and his on-screen presence stunned the audiences. Richard also took part in the World War II by serving in the Royal Navy Volunteer Reserve. His experiences during the war greatly contributed to his work later on as an actor. From there, Green quickly became high in demand for various leading roles, starring in quite a number of films in the 1940s and 50s. He often played romantic heroes who feared nothing at all, were charming and charismatic. He became a favorite to most female movie enthusiasts countrywide. Richard Green also had the opportunity to work with some of the greatest actors in Hollywood in his career. Sanja Henney, Loretta Young, and Spencer Tracy are examples, and working with them was a great honor for him. He also worked with child star Shirley Temple in the 1942 film Miss Annie Rooney, which was one of her last films as a child actress before she began taking up more mature roles. Green also featured as Robin Hood in the 1950 film The Adventures of Robin Hood, which is taken as one of his most iconic performances in his theater career, where he played the role of an iconic outlaw that fought against a corrupt sheriff and other villains. The film was great and considered a commercial success, which solidified Green's status as a leading man in the industry. Initially, the role was supposed to go to Irish actor Patrick McGowan, who turned it down. Green was recommended for the part by the show's producer Hannah Weinstein, who had seen him in a film and was impressed by his good looks and charming character. Thanks to his great performance and his ability to combine action, humor, and romance, the show was a huge success and went on for four seasons from 1955 to 1959, where Green starred in every episode. In the 1960s, Richard appeared in several films, including The Pirates of Blood River in 1962 and The Crimson Blade in the following year. The Pirates of Blood River is an adventurous film where Green played the lead role of Jonathan Standing and tells the story of a group of Huguenot refugees who are stuck on a tropical island, taken captive by a group of pirates led by Captain LaRoche. Green's character is able to escape from the pirates and encourages the rest of the captives to retaliate against their captors. The Crimson Blade, on the other hand, is a historical drama that replicates the English Civil War. Green played the role of Colonel Judd, a loyal confidant to King Charles I who fights against the parliamentarians. The film shed light on a number of battle scenes and also stars Oliver Reed and Michael Ripper. He also repeatedly played roles in the British television series The Troubleshooters, which reflected on the exploits of a group of engineers who work for an oil company. Green featured in the film is John Ridge, who is a wealthy businessman that is involved with the company's operations. The series was popular in the UK and ran for several seasons. However, none of these projects matched the success of The Adventures of Robin Hood, which remained his most iconic role. Regardless of this, he went on to work well in the industry and remained a great figure to many fans. In his personal life away from the big screens, Richard was involved in several romantic relationships and marriages. In the 1940s, he was shortly engaged to Swedish actress Anita Ekberg, but the engagement was canceled in the long run. Green went on to marry a British actress, Patricia Medina, in 1941, and together they gave birth to a daughter, whom they named Jacqueline. The couple had a rocky relationship, where they had many disagreements and frequent arguments. In 1949, Green was involved in a publicized scandal where he was found in bed with the wife of another actor. This further strained his marriage to Medina. Despite attempts to make up for the mistake, the marriage finally ended up in divorce in 1951 and Medina went on to marry actor Joseph Cotton. Green, on the other hand, had a string of relationships with various women, including actress Maureen Connell and socialite Caroline Lesserf. In 1958, he married Beatrice Summers, with whom he had one child and remained married until his death in 1985. 
Richard Green had an inborn passion for horse racing and even owned a number of race horses. He regularly attended race meetings and even became a licensed horse racing trainer in the early 1950s. He owned a racing stable in the UK called the Old Rectory Stables, where he trained his own horses and other people's horses. Some of his well-known successes as a trainer include the victory of his horse Salvo in the 1955 Victoria Cup at Ascot and the win of his horse The Ace in the 1960 Cambridgeshire Handicap. Despite his success as a horse racing trainer, Green was known to be an avid gambler. He ultimately had to sell his stable due to financial difficulties. However, his love for the sport never died, and he remained a passionate racehorse owner and enthusiast throughout his life. Richard Green was a greater golfer and enjoyed playing it regularly, and he used to play on some of the best golf courses in the world. In fact, he was lucky enough to compete in a few celebrity golf tournaments like the Bing Crosby Pro-Am in Pebble Beach, California. Green had taken up memberships in various golf clubs, including the Wentworth Club in England and the Hillcrest Country Club in Los Angeles. He was said to have been passionate about golf, and he considered it one of his favorite sports. Despite being a very social fella, Green was also a member of the Hollywood elite, which included being part of the exclusive Hollywood social club, the Rat Pack, which was formed by Frank Sinatra. Richard and Frank were close friends who were often seen hanging out together at several parties and events. Green was also known to socialize quite well with the other members of the Rat Pack. The club was not only known for partying and socializing, but also for their contributions to the entertainment industry. Many of the members were established actors and musicians who were successful in their careers. They also worked together on several films and television shows and were known for their sharp wit and sassy banter. Although Richard Green was not a member of the Rat Pack for very long, his association with the group helped to solidify his status as one of Hollywood's most popular and influential actors. However, despite the long and successful career he had in the entertainment industry, Richard Green's decision to retire from acting in the early 1980s was really difficult. He was not pleased with the types of roles he was being offered and the state the industry was in. On top of that, he developed health problems that made it hard for him to go on working. While at an interview with Los Angeles Times Magazine in 1982, Green mentioned his decision to retire from acting and that he wanted to be remembered for the quality of his work and not for hanging on to his career until the end. By choosing to bow out gracefully, he decided to leave the industry on his own terms, instead of being forced out due to a lack of work or health issues. This decision shows his respect for the work he had done and to the industry itself. Despite retiring quite early, Green had already left a permanent mark on the entertainment industry with his work in film, television, and stage productions. However, the death of Richard on June 1, 1985 shocked the entertainment industry and his fans worldwide as a whole. He had gone for a rehearsal for a play in Norfolk, England, where he collapsed on stage during the last moments of the rehearsal. From reports, he was quickly rushed to the hospital, but unfortunately, he could not be revived. The ordeal was particularly terrible for his fellow actors and crew members that were there at the rehearsal. News of his death spread fast throughout the entertainment industry, and many of his colleagues and fans expressed their deep sadness at the loss of such a talented and beloved figure. Richard Green was only 66 years old when he met his demise, which was a reminder of the fleeting nature of life. He left behind a legacy of memorable performances and an unfinished career, but his contributions to the entertainment industry will always be remembered. That's it for today about the renounced Richard Green. That's it for today, folks. Thank you for joining and learning more about the life and career of Richard Green. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications to get notified when we drop a new video. For more entertaining news and history about any Hollywood star you want to know, just leave a comment below. Thanks for watching.